These plates are being subjected to 50% humidity at 50 degrees Celsius. And pulling one out, if you look, basically we have a, a span of about 75 microns uh, spacing between these two plates. If we take it over here, uh, using this resistance measurement, uh, if we have an open, basically we'll record nothing. If we touch these two uh, surfaces, if there is a, a, a whisker, we'll see a response, and as you can see, a response is indicated, which means there is a whisker bridging uh, these two surfaces. But scientists still don't understand how to prevent these formations from occurring in the first place. Meanwhile, as electronics and microchips continue to get smaller and appear in more and more everyday products, the tin whiskers problem keeps getting bigger. Tin whiskers are a classic example of a very small thing causing a great deal of damage. They have caused hundreds of millions of dollars in damage and are capable of causing damage in the billions. Until science can find a solution, it seems that all industry and consumers can do is wait for the next gremlin to strike.